Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, connect your database values from Microsoft Excel database to a chart control in C sharp. So for example, I have this table uh, which I have been showing you in the last uh, video, and I want to show the graph or chart uh, first name versus the pay of the employee or name versus the pay of the employee. So how can I do it uh, with the help of chart control I will show you. I will also show you how you can uh, create different charts uh, in uh, the process of doing uh, this. So let me change size of this table for data review. And then I will go to uh, the toolbox and I will search for the control called chart. You will uh, see this uh, control uh, ch chart in this data section here. So drag and drop this tool from uh, your toolbox in your form. And just resize it. And after placing your uh, chart in your form, first main thing you need to do is to change this TV here. So you can give the CV name according to your requirement and I will show you how you can do it. Just select your um, chart here and search for the property called CV name. This is this one. Okay, so just select the CV and click the small button here. And in here you will find uh, this CV. And you can add uh, the number of CVs, more than one also. Uh, and you can uh, just uh, use one own CV only also. And first thing is to change the name of the CV. So just go to here, CV's one property, and first thing you need to do is just change the name of it according to your uh, uh, CV name for example. I want to name my CV as page because I want not page but the page for example. Because I want to show the page uh, versus name or name versus page chart, right? So I will I have changed the name of my CV and then you can choose the type of uh, your chart by this here chart type. By default this uh, column, but you can choose here point chart line or fine step line. There are many kind of charts you can uh, make for uh, yourself. Okay, so just choose uh, the chart which is suitable for your data. And uh, using this column chart itself, and you can change many properties from your uh, for your chart from here, like background color, foreground color, and other properties. So you can just play with these properties and uh, see how it goes. But I will leave all the properties for now as default. You can even change the color of the chart by going to this palette and change these colors. Okay, so just for the information. Now the series name is page, yeah, right? Now, for example, I want to connect it to my database. So what I will do? Go to my toolbox and I will just drag and drop this button here and I will change the name of this or text of this button as load chart. Okay. So I will just double click this button and in here I am going to write the code to load the chart and in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take the skeleton of the code which I have been using to connect to the database and pass the query using uh, the command. By now, you already know I think what uh, this code is. In this code, what I'm doing first is I'm making the private right block, and uh, with the help of this private right block, I'm catching the exception. And then in the first line of this code, I'm opening the connection with the database with this OLEDB object which I have declared above. And then this connection, I have given the connection string. So 
if you don't uh, know how to make a connection uh, with the database, you can just see my first video. And then I create a OLEDB command here, and I give the connection to the command, and then I prepare a query. In this case, I'll just uh, write the query. This is a very simple query like this. Select a fit from your table here. Okay, and then I will pass this query to the command here. Right? Then, in the next line, when this, uh, to execute this uh, command, I will just uh, write command dot execute reader. And whatever data I will get by executing this command, I will get. Uh, read this, uh, this data by this reader, and this reader dot read helps us to uh, go through the results one by one, okay, in a while. And then in the last, I just close the connection. So when I will make that uh, connection with the database, we need to close it also. Otherwise, uh, we create problems in uh, connection once again when we want to make the connection, right? Now in this file loop, I will write the code. To um, add a chart like this. So in this file loop, what we need to do is just go to your form design here and just copy the name of this uh, chart. And in my case, the chart name is chart one. But you can change the name according to your requirement. Okay. Just uh, copy and paste the name of your chart and then write dot and in the square bracket, just take the name of the PD. So you can give the name of the PD. So if you remember, we have given the name of our PD as state in capital, right? So, or if you don't uh, remember, then just go to this series once again and you see the name here, state, right? Just copy it. And go to the code, and then you have to uh, the PDB inside the square bracket. And then you can write dot point dot add xy axis. So you want to make an xy column chart, right? So we'll add xy axis, and then we take two arguments. First is the x axis data, and second is the y axis data, right? So, I will just copy this from here. Here, and as a first argument, I will take this, and in the square bracket, I will give the name of the column of x axis. So, I want to show the name on the first name on the x axis, right? So I will just copy the column name of axis I want to show on x axis and then dot right. So this will be this is uh, the first argument and this will be the x axis of our chart. Comma, just copy the same and paste this here. And then the second argument will be uh, the y axis. In our case, this is column name, not column name here. Right? And let's leave it as two string and let's see what happens if we give us the result or not. I hope uh, it will not give the result if we leave it as two string, but let's see what happens. Okay. So we run the code and the name and password. Will show an exception because I have closed my access database. Okay. And when I click the close chart button, it has loaded our chart. Right? So, you see here the names, all the names are there from the database. Let's see, open the database first. And open it. And all the names are there, and the age pages of uh, each are there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13 entries here. 
11 is not there, uh, yeah. and 1 to 14 without 11 is 13 and 2, all the 13 names was in the pay of the employee. But you see here, all the names are not printed because names are bigger than the width of the column. How to solve this problem? I, I will show you in a moment. So just go to your um, forms once again, select your uh, chart here and and search for the property here called chart area. Go to the this click the small button here uh, in front of chart area areas and then just go and go to access here. This will also show you the small button once again click it and this will give you the access collection editor. And in here you can just go to or select first of all this access and then go to the property called interval and by default it's auto. So in order to show all the names or all the values in front of each column, you can just make it instead of auto, just make it one, so interval one, right? And click OK, click OK, and let's see what happens now. Run the program, and let me close my database first, and username and password, close chart, and now you can see every name is in front of your columns, right? So in this way you can even play with the properties and you can even change this uh, chart, uh, color, background color, grid. There are many properties you can uh, you know play with and uh, customize your chart. So I hope you have uh, understood the basic concept how you can load charts using your database. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and bye for now.